So let's talk cold weather boots. It's something that I'm fairly educated in and I can speak to because living in the Yukon, living in temperatures that in the middle of the winter when it's nice and dark and minus 40 and colder, when you're looking for boots, you're looking for a boot typically that is going to keep you warm in those kind of temperatures, number one. And often when we talk about boots that keep you warm, the boots that I've come across don't have any other functionality, generally speaking, than just that. And that's where I believe that Zomberlin is really changing the market as far as what we should expect in a cold weather boot. And this one I have here is the new boot by Zomberlin. It's the Ool 3032. And I've had the opportunity to test it out in winter conditions up here in the Yukon. And I think that Zomberlin is really, like I said, they are leading the charge on what we should expect in a cold weather boot now going forward. And I think they've really hit the mark with this one when we're talking cold, cold temperatures and functionality. So the Ool, the weight of this boot is fantastic. It's very lightweight. It's clearly made of high quality synthetic materials that are really specifically made to keep the weight down, keep the warmth in, and be able to use this like a functioning tool. First off, really look at the sole. That sole has the ability to be technically used whether you're climbing, it's just a great sole compared to what you will ever find in almost every other boot company that's making a cold weather boot. So technically great sole. And then we can move up. I know that the footbed has aluminum in it, which really reflects the heat. The thought has been about how do we keep the people's feet warm and keep them moving functionally and provide them with a platform that they can put on and know that their feet are gonna be warm, but they can also use it technically. So this boot is really easy to put into a snowshoe. When I'm snowshoeing or I'm using that on a bison hunt and I'm in deep, deep snow and I wanna stay on the surface, I'm obviously using either skis or snowshoes. And this, I can really not have to worry about taking skis or ski boots along with me because this fits into a snowshoe really well. It's crampon adaptable so that snowshoe back, the heel on the snowshoe really stays in place. I really like the BOA system when it comes to cold weather and the ability for it not to freeze up. You know, just a few weeks ago, I ended up falling in the river. If it was a laced up boot, they would have been frozen and I'd had a heck of a time getting them undone or getting them back done up, where the BOA system is, is really nice that way. It's very easily used, tightened up, holds the boot nice and tight to your foot, and quickly in and out. So I really like that about it, and it's low profile, but yet it provides the warmth that we need when it comes to hunting in the conditions that we hunt. So I can't say really enough good things about this. We had a great experience with it. I think that Zomberlin is really leading the charge when it comes to cold weather functional boots. Okay, so when we talk about cold weather boots, Zomberlin is the one that's hitting the mark in the industry. For quality, technical boot that keeps you warm at whatever the temperature, the Ool is for really, really cold temperatures. Although having said that, the Polar Hunter, I've used it in minus 30 to 35 temperatures and it's performed like amazingly. So when it comes to boots that are hitting the mark on cold weather, functionality, and able to keep you out there and still you be able to climb and use them in a technical manner, Zomberlin is hitting the mark above all. So. If you wanna check out my YouTube channel where I talk a little bit more about the Polar Hunter and get into some details, go check that out because I can't, uh, I can't say enough good things about these two boots in particular when it comes to cold weather temperatures and we use them a lot when we're talking hunting up here in the Yukon. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions, just leave a comment. Thanks for subscribing if you haven't. Please subscribe to the channel. 
It's, uh, it's how we create more content and how we get you guys the best information from the best products on the market.